Oh, hello, my lovers. It's MJ from Ultra Love and Ultra Love TV. Happy to be here. Also, happy Friday. Happy Friday. We all love a Friday, don't we? <laughs> Isn't it funny? I can't remember when I was uh, well into my yoga teaching career and I just loved it so much. So I basically just worked all, every day, uh, day, every day. Uh, and it got a bit burnt out. And so I was like, I'm going to take a day off and I'm going to be radical and I'm going to take Monday off. And I can remember this sort of like energetic depression coming into Sunday night and Monday morning. And I realized that was like the collective energy imprint of like work and how I guess on a dominant level, like work, it's just accepted that we hate work. I couldn't tolerate that personally. Like I had shop jobs, cafe jobs. I worked in bars. I, tr I did that, been there, done that. And I, and I just, um, respected the rigor and the like work ethic required, but just the exhaustion levels and like, we're, so, you know, being on your feet all day and just the actual working paradigm of working an eight to 10 hour shift. I just thought like, so I'll be able to pay my rent and food. You know, it's just one of those. Anyway, oh my God, razzmatazz, hala, 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 hala. I, here's the thing as though, though, I'm like really coming away from too much deep dive um, or even law of attraction teachings. I literally am at this point now where I'm like, just do what you love. Like, suss it out, you know, as a young person, find what you're, what you're good at usually what you love if you're not good at it you'll get good at it if you love it right and then eventually and I remember Tara Stiles said this about the yoga teaching too if you just do something enough eventually somebody will want to pay you for it <laughs> don't listen to me you guys I'm a tarot reader online entrepreneur yoga teacher entertainer of love ha I'd oh wow wow are you guys still here? Did you make it this far? Are you still with me with the cards? Am I talking a bunch of razzmatazz? Probably. But if you're still here, holla, holla, high five, high five. I um, I buy all secondhand. New shirt. Holla, holla, holla. Um, buy, I buy secondhand. There's four courses in the Be The Change courses that I created. Spirituality Simplified, Z Sinful Zero Waste, Vegan Love, and uh, Unplug for Freedom, which is essentially like you know, try to clarify all the spiritual mumbo jumbo, but get, get real about the earnest work that can be done to transform. Um, veganism, I've just long time veggie vegan. So I'm not a radical vegan. I'm not here to make people feel bad, but I am somebody who's like plant-based for me, like worked wonders. So I'm like, you know, consider it plus like slaughtering innocent creatures. <laughs> I can't, I can't this poor little cow. It's like, it's not good for me, right? So it's like, if you, if that's fine, if you're totally cool with slaughtering the creatures, then maybe meat is for you. Plus, like, we're not like out hunting, hunting, <laughs> hunting and gutting. We're not out doing that. So like, you know, um, anyway, oh, wow. I'm rambling a lot, you guys. I do, you know what? No, I don't apologize. It's my channel. It's my work. I can do what I like. <laughs> it's like you've got the power come on people raz yourself and don't let people insult your soul you know like look i just want a world where like people are happier and more kind to one another it'd be nice as well if we didn't have a world where people were so frightened and out of fear you know <laughs> Fight the, you know, like all these like weird power manipulation fabrish. Oh yeah, somebody was like fabrish. What's up? I'm like, is my is the all to love colloquial language? No, I don't. I don't know what I'm saying. You guys, my goodness. So let's just get into the cards here. I'm hazarding a guess that. Uh. Okay, there's a King of Cups here, Water Sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. They're in the dumps. They're going through a bit of a hell of Shazam. Next to the Five of Cups. However, it might be that they're... Mm, it's like healing, journeying. I always, for some reason, think of shamanic journeying when I see the Three of Wands in the reverse. Three of Wands in the upright would be buying a ticket, going to travel, go journeying. 
uh, that sort of thing an alone journey right like those of you who have done some traveling know that it's pretty significantly different when you travel on your own versus traveling with a group of people or with another person so uh, yeah this king cup seems to be going through a little bit of a deep dive of their own healing journey and maybe processing some grief here um, let me pick from a few more decks so the five of cups ugh, i don't know there's like a twofold that five of cups feel it's in the reverse which makes me think they've been in this healing journey and they might be coming up the other side of it they might be feeling better and because then you have emperor so there's either two people coming into your world or there's one person that's gone through a total transformation and is like bosh i am gandalf the white <laughs> I'm not there yet, are you guys? I'm still I'm still more like Gandalf the Grey. <laughs> Sorry, I don't if you if you feel me, you feel me. Wow. <laughs> is it Friday or is it because I've already had half a cup of coffee? I don't know. But I'm happy to be here and don't you know what's liberating when you really genuinely start to get over what other people think of you? None of us can control what other people think of us, so if you like yourself, then other people could make try to make you feel bad about yourself, but then you'll pop off and be like, actually, shake it off and be like, wait a minute, I don't have to feel bad about myself. <laughs> it's the Friday feels. It's definitely because of Friday. It's not anything to do with me. It's nothing to do with the coffee I've had this morning. It's nothing to do with anything other than it's a holla shazam. <laughs> You know, I appreciate my internet. I realize too. So I have, I, I follow a Placidus house system in Astro and like I'm so Capricorn and quite a bit of Aquarius is my, my first house. And then that made me realize I'm like, see, like, um, I'm, I'm not very sociable. Like I'm a bit, I'm not a bit, I'm quite a hardcore introvert. And, um, so socializing can be a bit exhausting for me. Uh, but in the right constellation, it's amazing, as introverts know. Um, where was I even going with this? Shoot, I've totally lost my train of thought. Damn it! <laughs> I was good. I was gonna say something. Maybe energies. It's gone. Who cares? <laughs> Who cares? I just put the ten of cups. I mean, pentacle. So that's a beautiful card. I feel like this. <laughs> reading is lost for cause and nobody cares oh wait was there something about that not caring about what other people think just showing up and being yourself <sighs> be a radical person i don't know i I'm, I'm totally like so over the years there's you know those people are like whoa what's wrong with so and so it's like is she on something no no that's just i'm just okay <laughs> <laughs> um yeah but non giving of any razzmatazzes plus like i'm increasingly aware of that um sensitivity within us that can highlight and pick up on the only reason we externalize and project our judgment against others is because we're judging ourselves is because there's a a defense coming up there's a a light being shown you could say perhaps so um yeah, it's that thing of even somebody, a, a, a connection via via a festival, it's like, shine your light, brah, and that, that's, a, that's a truth, right? When we are ourselves, when we're authentically ourselves, there's a lot of polarity, as in we attract more tribe, we attract hala hala people in their power, we attract all this, but then there's the swing, we attract the, 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 the darkness aspect right? The shameful part of ourselves. We attract the the denied part, the abandoned part, the right? And these are things that are um, often triggered by other, but then at the same time, a lot of humans are still harboring those sorts of energies. And as we all are, I'm pretty sure. Like, I think we pick up things and put things down along the way as we go in the here and now. Oh God. And the profundity, my lovers, you know, true healing is always in the present moment. You know, we can go back to things, but even in our mental state, we can go back. But the, the regenesis is happening in the cellular body here now. Oh my gosh, what a weird and wonderful share. 
I dare say. I, I my, uh, one of you guys says my Scottish, my Scottish fairy goddess or whatever. I'm like, yes, I'm a fairy goddess. Okay, I, <laughs> I must say, uh, it's the 7th of July today and part of possibly my light weirdness is that there's a lot interpersonal uh, interpersonal would that be a, I don't think so just personal familial personal there's like a huge uh kind of familial event happening today um and it's kind of like getting through this monumental hurdle at the same time is kind of like hardcore and uh, you know for myself and my family and but I want to cry almost, but at the same time, it's like this beautiful symbol of, of completion, of healing, of karma completion, of like humongous like recognition of ancestral healing, like healing for people that I've never met, but like in spirit, they've been showing up like, hala, hala, you, you people, you did some good stuff and we're here. Oh, just profound. Anyway, check out the YouTube channel. I might talk about it. You guys, there's something, ooh, new beginning, new beginning, 10 of Pentacles. I think for some of you, you you genuinely are just focusing on this healing. There's a 10 of Pentacles, there's this Emperor energy coming in, or there's a graduation, King of Cups moving from Emperor. And I dare say for some of you, certainly in this like, you know, next couple of days, instead of taking a new beginning, moving toward a new beginning, instead of making any offers or allowing or receiving any offers, I feel like you're almost just solely focusing on emotional healing. So for some of you in particular, like the King Cups, this is just profound alchemy of really releasing sadness and grief and past pain and past hurt. This person is looking at cups that have already fallen right they didn't get kicked over right in front of us they're falling they're like, Ugh. so they're like they're already done they've already fallen but there's two cups right behind this person so there's a sense of there's a recognition and intrinsic recognition that it's like that as essence of like having a bad breakup and then just getting on a dating app <clears throat> um that would that would be uh what people call that rebound effect whereas when you really give yourself time to heal and uh, harmonize and come back to wholeness. So this is you healing everything so that you feel like a ten of pentacles. You feel like you have the whole world. Then once you're feeling that ten of pentacles, once you're feeling that emperor energy, then I feel like you're going to be moving forward either. Uh, yeah, there, this is a very solid, um, not solitary in a sad way necessarily, but this, well, actually there's a lot of sadness here. Wow. You guys are like, there's MJ. That's my tarot reader. She's amazing. Yeah, I know. <laughs> okay. <laughs> there is a lot of sadness. Oh, God. Should I keep this video? Guys, let me know. If you made it this far, tell me, like, give me a thumbs up or one of these symbols, whatever that, like, skateboarder vibratory is. Um, point is, back, <laughs> this is a, this is a solitary energy because whoever this reading is for, this is just kind of how it works in my experience is like sometimes those emotional deep emotional shadow work and healing and grieving it's we do it on our own and we might come into contact with people and healers and those that can hold this space but often it's just just grief and pain in the body or even another way to look at it is like dense cells that are clearing out from your body to become lighter to become more in love to become more yourself and so you're not focusing on charging ahead you're not focusing on taking or giving a new beginning instead you're just focusing on you and coming back to wholeness which it's here as well by the way so this weekend could be a massive shift or this month certainly so emperor ten of pentacle You've got the power. You've got the power. Holla. Holla. Oh. Wow. <laughs> I gave you peace. Live long and prosper. Have a great weekend, my lovers, and be in touch. Uh, or not, but I love you loads. Check out the apparel as well. Buy some apparel stuff. I love you guys. Okay, bye. Bye, bye. Bye, bye, bye. Bye, 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 bye.